I will just mention one more last prophecy about the Kalki Avatar. And he has been prophesied as Kalki Avatar in the Bhagavad Purana, Khanda 12, Adhyay 2, Shlokas 18 to 20. It says that he will be born in the house of Vishnu Yas, a noble-souled Brahmin who is the chief of the village of Sambhala. And he will be called as the Kalki. Mantra number 19 and 20 says that he will be the supreme lord of the worlds. He will be given supernal knowledge and character and will be given eight special characteristics, eight special qualities. He will be given a steed, a horse by the angels, and he will ride a horse carrying a sword in his hand. And he will defeat the enemies and will be helped by the angels. He further prophesies in Bhagavad Purana, Khand 1, Adhay 3, Shokas 25, that he will be born in the Kalyug. This Kalkya Avatar will be born in Kalyug, in which the kings will behave like robbers. And he will be born in the house of Vishnu Yas and will be called as Kalki. Same Kalki Avatar is even mentioned in the Kalki Purana in chapter number 2, verse number 4, which says that he will be born in the house of Vishnu Yas. Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 5 says, he will be helped by four companions in spreading his religion. Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 7, it says that he'll be helped by the angels in the battlefield. Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 11 says that he'll be born in the house of Vishnu, yes, in the womb of Sumati. And Kalki Purana, chapter number 2, verse number 15 says he'll be born in the first half of Madhav month. You can only give a talk on Kalki Avatar. I'll just mention the points in brief. That these prophecies, what do they say? Point number one, that it says that the name of Kalki's father will be Vishnu Yas. Vishnu Yas, if you translate, means the worshipper of Vishnu, worshipper of God. And the name of Muhammad's father was Abdullah, which also means worshipper of Allah, worshipper of God. Point number two, the name of the mother of Kalki Avatar will be Sumati. Sumati, if you translate into English, it means peace. And the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi mother was Amina, which if you translate into English means peace. <laughs> Further says that he will be born in the village by the name of Sambhala. Sambhala, if you translate, means a place of serenity and peace. And similarly, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was born in Makkah. It was known as the Darul Aman, the place of peace and serenity. So it is also mentioned that he'll be born in Makkah. It further says he'll be born in the house of the chief of Sambala, house of the chief of Makkah, which we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born, that he was born in the house of the chief of Makkah, born in the Quraysh family. It further says that he will be born on the 12th day of the first half of the month of Madho. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in the first half of the lunar month of Rabbi Awwal on the 12th day. This prophecy that he was born on the 12th day of Madhav is the same as 12th day of Rabbi Awal. Further, it says that this Kalki Avatar, he will be a final messenger. Exactly what was mentioned in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, where it says, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalikum, wala khi Rasulullah, wa khataman nabin, wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin alima. Which means that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but is the messenger of Allah, and he is the seal of the prophets, the final messenger. Allah is all-knowing, full of knowledge. Further, it says that this Kalki Avatar, he will get knowledge from Parsuram, the Almighty God, in a mountain. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the first revelation he got in Gare Hira, Jabal Nur, the Mount of Nur, in Gare Hira. And the prophecy further says that he will go towards north and come back. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam migrated from Makkah northwards toward Medina and he came back to Makkah victoriously. Further it says that this Kalki Avatar, he will be an example to the whole world. He'll have an impeccable character as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number 68, verse number 4, that verily thou art standeth on the highest standard of character. It's further mentioned he'll be given eight special qualities. And in Kalki Purana and Bhagavad Purana, the eight qualities mentioned is wisdom, self-control, 
respectable lineage, reveal knowledge, valor, charity, gratefulness, and measured speech. And the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known for all these eight qualities. Furthermore, it's mentioned he will be a teacher of the world, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Sabah, chapter 34, verse number 28. Illa kafatal linas bashiro wa nazirao that we have sent thee not but as a universal messenger giving glad tidings and warning them against sin but most of the human beings they do not know. It further says that this kalki avatar he will be given a steed by Almighty God and we know Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was given the burakh by which he did the miraj that the ascension to the heavens. It further says, this Kalki Avatar will ride a horse and will carry a sword. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took part in most of the battles, most of them which are fought in self-defense. And even though he was a leader, he physically took part, he rode the horse and even caught the sword in the right hand. Further, the prophecy says that he'll be helped by four companions to spread the religion, the deen. And we know it refers to the four Khalifas, the Khulfa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Usman, Hazrat Ali, may Allah be pleased with them all, who later became the Khulfa Rashidin, the rightly guided Khalifas of Islam, who spread the religion further. It also says that this Kalki Avatar will defeat the enemy and guide the people to the right track. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam defeated the enemies and he guided the Arabs from Yawm al Jahiliya, the age of ignorance, he guided them to the true path. And the final point mentioned is that he will be helped by the angels in the battlefield. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was held by angels in several battles, including the Battle of Badr, which is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse 123 to 125, as well as Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 8 and 9. So this prophecy of Kalki Avatar, the last and final messenger, befits no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. <laughs>